welcome to learn with us this is the ninth lecture of basic electronics first we will have a quick review of our previous lecture in our last lecture we started this topic applications of diode in this topic you understood how diode acts as a switch and how diode acts as logic gates where you understood logic or function using diodes and logic and function using diodes what are the learning objectives of this lecture in this lecture you will study about working of diode as a rectifier where you will understand what is a half wave rectifier what is a full wave rectifier and what is a bridge wave rectifier now we will understand how diode acts as a rectifier first of all what is a rectifier a rectifier is a device that converts ac signal into dc there are three forms of rectifier first is half wave rectifier which has one diode second is full wave rectifier which has two diodes and third is bridge wave rectifier which has four diodes all of these forms have different arrangements but the outputs of full wave rectifier and bridge wave rectifier are same in selecting diodes for rectifier design two important parameters must be specified first is the current handling capability required by the diode it is determined by the largest current the diode is expected to conduct and second is the peak inverse voltage or piv it is the largest reverse voltage that is expected to appear across the diode now we will talk about half wave rectifier in a half wave rectifier one half of each ac input cycle is rectified now look at this circuit as i have mentioned earlier that in a half wave rectifier there is only one diode and this diode is connected to a load resistor rl here we have ac input signal so it is represented by this symbol this is source voltage here diode voltage is vd and here the voltage across this load resistor is v0 now here this is our input ac signal this is positive vs and this peak is representing negative vs this is zero this is t1 and this is t2 it means from zero to t1 we have positive vs and from t1 to t2 we have negative yes okay now during this half wave rectifier there are both positive and negative cycles first we'll talk about positive half cycle of the input that is we talk about this part now during this positive half cycle of the input the current will flow from positive to negative terminals it means now the diode will be forward biased which will generate only a positive half cycle of the ac supply it means now this circuit will become like this this is diode here voltage is vd here we have vs and here we have v0 
here we are talking about positive half cycle of the input where diode is on okay now here we will apply kvl so how we are going to obtain kvl equation we put positive and negative sign here now we'll start from this point so our kvl equation will be minus vs plus vd plus v naught is equal to zero we know that when diode is on vd is zero so now this vs plus v naught is equal to zero it means vs is equal to v naught it means during positive half cycle of the input signal the output voltage is same as the input voltage so the output will be drawn like this this is the output voltage v naught the magnitude of this output voltage v naught is similar to this positive vs okay now we will talk about negative half cycle of the input now during this negative half cycle these polarities are reversed it means now the positive terminal will become negative and the negative terminal will become positive so in this case the current will flow from negative to positive because now the polarity is reversed now we know that when the negative voltage is applied to the positive terminal of diode it becomes off so now the circuit will be like this here now this terminal is negative and this is positive this is vs this is v naught and this is rl and now the direction of current is this but we know that now diode is off it means diode current is zero now here the current across the circuit will become zero it means there will be no current generated at the output side so it means i is equal to id is equal to zero now what will be v naught here we know that from ohm's law v is equal to ir and here this v naught is equal to i multiplied by rl and now as i have mentioned that there will be no current generated in this circuit it means i is equal to i is equal to zero so here v naught is equal to zero it means during negative half cycle of this input signal there is zero volts so now it is drawn on this circuit like this it means during positive half cycle diode is on and during negative half cycle diode is off okay so this is our output signal in case of half wave rectifier now if we have a continuous ac signal like this this is one signal this is second signal and this is third signal this is plus vs this is negative vs then what would be output waveform we know that 
diode conducts during positive half cycle of the input so it is like this during positive half cycle and this is showing negative half cycle again for second signal diode is on for positive half cycle and off for negative half cycle for third signal diode is on for positive half cycle and it is off for negative half cycle it means these are on and here diode is off so this kind of output waveform is called pulsating DC it means the output of half wave rectifier is pulsating DC now we will find peak inverse voltage of half wave rectifier we will look at the condition when the diode is reverse biased we know that when this terminal of input source voltage is negative and this is positive then diode is reverse biased or off now here this is load resistor this is voltage drop across load resistor and this is the direction of current but we know that when diode is off current is zero it means there is no current generated in this circuit so what will be output voltage from ohm's law we know that v is equal to ir here v naught is equal to irl this i is zero here it means here v naught is zero now if we apply kvl here and here voltage in this reverse biased diode is peak inverse voltage piv so how we will have our kvl equation we start from here this is positive this is negative this is positive and this is negative so here we have plus Vs minus V0 minus PIV is equal to 0 or we have PIV is equal to Vs. So this is the value of peak inverse voltage in case of half wave rectifier. It shows that the reverse biased diode has maximum applied voltage. Now, look at this example. If the direction of diode is like this, it means if its anode is connected to load resistor RL and its cathode is connected to source voltage such that this terminal of source is negative and this is positive if this is input signal where this is plus vs and this is minus vs then what would be the output waveform in this case now here as you can see this negative terminal of the battery is connected to this negative terminal of diode and this positive terminal is connected to this positive terminal it means here current will flow in this direction so here this diode is forward biased that is on during the negative half cycle of the input so it means during the negative half cycle diode is on so here output will be like this because we know that v0 is equal to vs and here we are talking about negative half cycle so 
here you get this output now when we reverse this polarity it means when this becomes positive and this becomes negative that is we are talking about positive half cycle of the input then during this positive half cycle since this positive voltage is applied to the negative terminal of the diode it becomes off it means now it is in reverse biased condition so now it is not conducting there is no current generated in this circuit it means v naught is zero when during positive half cycle and this was during negative half cycle so now the waveform during positive half cycle will be like this this is v naught this is okay so this is your output waveform when you have a condition like this now before full wave rectifiers first we will understand transformer coupling because in rectifiers transformer coupling is done it provides two advantages first it allows the source voltage to be stepped down as needed it means you can control the source voltage secondly since the ac source is electrically isolated from the rectifier this transformer coupling prevents a shock hazard in the secondary circuit now if we look at the construction of transformer it is something like this it means there are two coils first coil is primary coil and second is secondary coil both of these coils are electrically separated but they are linked magnetically it means the voltages and currents that are flowing in this primary coil they induce emf in this secondary coil in other words power is transferred from one circuit or coil to another now in case of transformer secondary voltage that is vsec is equal to turns ratio times the primary voltage if this n is greater than 1 then the secondary voltage is greater than the primary voltage if this n is less than 1 then this secondary voltage is less than primary voltage and if this n or turns ratio is equal to 1 then secondary voltage is equal to primary voltage now look at this circuit this is half wave rectifier with transformer coupling this is primary coil and this is secondary coil so the voltage which is flowing in this primary coil it will induce voltage in this secondary coil so this rectifier coupled with transformer it works in a similar way that we have discussed in our previous slides now we will understand full wave rectifier full wave rectifier circuits are used for producing an output voltage or an output current which is dc these full wave rectifiers utilize both halves of each ac input signal it has two diodes but only one diode will conduct at a time now this is the circuit of full wave rectifier with transformer coupling 
this is secondary winding this is diode one this is diode two here load resistor rl is connected this is source voltage vs and here this secondary winding is center tapped and it is providing two equal voltages across these two halves of secondary winding now if this is your input signal sorry for my drawing and this is positive vs and this is negative vs then what would be the output waveform first we will look at this positive half cycle of this input signal so during positive half cycle of the input signal this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative it means here this is positive this is negative and this is positive and this is negative now we know that when positive voltage is applied to the positive terminal or anode of diode it becomes on it means it is in forward biased condition so here d1 is on now what about d2 as you can see here negative voltage is applied to this anode of d2 it means this d2 will be reverse biased that is off now what will be the direction of current we know that when diode is on it is short so here current will flow through d1 and then through this load resistor in this direction so how you are going to draw output waveform during this positive half cycle output will be like this where d1 is on now what would happen during negative half cycle of the input it means now these polarities are reversed now we know that when negative voltage is applied to the positive terminal that is anode of diode it becomes off so here d1 will be reverse biased or off now what about d2 now here d2 is receiving positive voltage it means now positive voltage is applied to the anode of d2 so now it will be forward biased or we can say it is on okay now what will be the direction of current here current will flow through this d2 and then it will go like this and then it will enter this point and then it will flow in this direction through r now note that the current through r always flow in the same direction that is this from upward to downward so it means here this output voltage is unipolar how we know that during negative half cycle d2 is on so it is drawn like this means d2 is on now for another input signal during positive half cycle again d1 is on and during negative half cycle again d2 is on it means this full wave rectifier is providing a unipolar output it means it is inverting these negative half cycles of this input signal as you can see here so this is the output waveform of full wave rectifier 
Now we will find peak inverse voltage of full wave rectifier. We know that when negative input voltage is applied here, then this diode 1 becomes off and diode 2 is on. Now here we have center tapping and here load resistor is connected. Now we can draw this circuit like this. Here we have diode 1 and here we have this secondary winding. This is diode 2 here. Now we can draw this load resistor here because we know that this is ground and this is ground so I just shifted this terminal here. So this is RL and we know that this is the direction of current so this is positive this is negative here output is V0 and we know that here negative voltage is applied and here voltage is positive and this is Vs and here in this reverse bias diode voltage is called peak inverse voltage now this terminal is negative and this terminal is positive now if we just look at this part of the circuit and if we apply KBL here we start from this point so we have plus Vs minus PIV plus V0 is equal to 0. Now this V0 can reach its maximum value which can be Vs. So if we substitute this value here we get Vs minus PIV plus Vs is equal to 0 therefore PIV is equal to 2 Vs. It means this is the value of peak inverse voltage for full wave rectifier. Now we will understand bridge wave rectifier. It is an alternative implementation of full wave rectifier. It has four diodes that are connected like this. This is load resistor RL. This is diode 3. This is diode 4. Now both of these terminals they are connected to secondary winding of transformer and here we have positive winding which is connected to AC source that is Vs. Now here this resistor is grounded. Now this is diode number 1, this is diode number 2, this is diode number 3 and this is diode number 4. Now if you have input signal like this where this is positive Vs, this is negative Vs. Okay. Now in this case what will be the output voltage? First we will consider the positive half cycle of this input signal. Now during this positive half cycle this terminal is positive and this is negative. It means now positive voltage is flowing this way. Now 
We know that when positive voltage is applied to a node of diode, it becomes on. So here this D1 will be forward biased or on. Now this voltage is flowing this way. So here again this D2 will be forward bias because it is receiving positive voltage. Now, if this voltage is going like this, it means positive voltage is now applied to the cathode of D3. It means D3 will be reverse biased or off. Now, what about this D4? If this voltage is going this way, again, this positive voltage is applied to cathode of D4, so it will be reverse biased or off. Now, what will be the direction of current? Here, current will flow like this, this, and this. It means this is D1, this is R, and this is D2. Why? Because now again, this is open circuit and this is open circuit. This is D3 and this is D4. So this is the direction of current here in this case. Now what will be the output waveform during the positive half cycle? We get output like this where D1 and D2 are on. Now what happens during negative half cycle? Now during negative half cycle these polarities are reversed. It means now this terminal is negative and this is positive. Now it means now positive voltage is flowing this way and this is negative. So if you go from here, it means now this D3 will be forward biased because now its anode is receiving positive voltage. So it is on. Now, if the voltage goes like this, it means now it is entering D4 and again this anode of D4 is receiving positive voltage. It means now D4 will be forward biased or on. Now if this voltage enters this point like this, it means now this cathode of D2 is receiving this positive voltage it means it will be reverse biased or off and again if this voltage is entering this point it means again this cathode of D1 is receiving positive voltage it means here D1 will be reverse biased or off okay now what will be the direction of current here? Here, the current will flow this way. Here, this is D3 and this is D4. Here, D2 is off and D1 is off. So it means this is the direction of current. Now, as you can see here, during both half cycles, current flows through R in the same direction that is from right to left okay it means output voltage v naught will always be positive so how you are going to draw output voltage during negative half cycle it is drawn 
like this where d3 and d4 are on okay now for another input signal during positive half cycle again d1 and d2 are on and for negative half cycle d3 and d4 are on so again this is unipolar output of this bridge wave rectifier now as you can see the outputs of both full wave rectifier and bridge wave rectifiers are same now we will find peak inverse voltage for bridge wave rectifier and here we look at the condition when this diode is reverse biased and this diode one is forward biased here we have this load resistor rl we know that this condition is when this terminal of input voltage is positive and this is negative it means when positive voltage is applied this way this is d4 this is d1 we know that here d2 is also forward biased in this case and here this d3 is reverse biased now we know that here output voltage is v0 and direction of current is this so this is positive and this is negative since this d4 is reverse biased here voltage is peak inverse voltage this is negative and this is positive now if we apply kvl here only in this part what will be our kvl equation it will be we'll start from this point it will be plus v naught minus p i v is equal to zero now the maximum value that this v naught can reach is vs it means the maximum voltage across this load resistor can be vs so if we substitute this value here we get piv is equal to vs so this is the value of peak inverse voltage in case of bridge wave rectifier that's all for today now what are the key takeaways of this lecture in this lecture you studied how diode acts as a rectifier here you understood what is a half wave rectifier what is a full wave rectifier and what is a bridge wave rectifier in this lecture you also calculated values of peak inverse voltage for half wave full wave and bridge wave rectifiers thank you for watching this video if you have any questions then write your questions in comment section of this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends and family thank you